In this video, I'll demonstrate how the accession process works in Catalogit. We'll create an accession record and attach the uh, entry records to it. This video is intended for Catalogit users who are associated with museum accounts. So an accession typically refers to an object or a group of objects that were acquired by the museum from the same source at the same time. The accession record is the museum's record of who or where the items came from and when they were acquired and how they came into the museum. For example, I have here five small pieces of Southwest pottery that were donated to the museum on November 18, 2018. This is one accession. It came from the same donor at the same time. This set of items will have its own single accession record. Now let's talk a little bit about numbering. The most common numbering system used by museums in the U.S. is a three-part system. The first part is the year the items were acquired. In this case, they were donated in 2018, so the first part is 2018. The second number is the sequential number assigned to each batch or group received during the year. Now this is the fourth donation this museum accepted this year, so the second part is four. These two numbers together are the accession number. All the items in the batch are tied together by this, these two numbers. The third number is the sequential number assigned to each item in the batch. Again, the first two numbers are the accession number. And that combination with the third number is the entry object ID number, which is unique. So every item in the museum should have its own unique three-part number like this. That number should actually be physically attached to the object itself. So museum accounts in Catalogit default to this numbering pattern. But if your organization uses a different pattern, Catalogit can be set to accommodate that pattern. So now let's go on into the Catalogit account and into the process of creating an accession record. You can create your accession record either in advance of cataloging the items in the batch or in conjunction with cataloging the first item. Either way, you're capturing all the same information. So I'm going to create my record in advance. Now I'm demonstrating this from my computer, but bear in mind everything I'm doing here you can also do from your smartphone or your tablet. So I'm going to start by going to my main menu here in the upper right hand or the upper left corner, excuse me, selecting profiles and catalog it. The accession record is a type of profile. So the first profile listed is accession. I'll select that. So this brings up a list of the previously assigned accession numbers with the highest, which is presumably the most recent, at the top. And notice that each one includes a brief description below it. So I'm going to add or create a new record. So I'm going to click this Add button here. And this opens up the Create Accession page. And notice Catalog gets automatically assigned the next uh, number in my sequence, 2018.4. So this next line is where I'll add the brief description, like you saw in your last uh, on the last screen. Five pieces of Southwest pottery. Now let's see, I'm also going to add the donor. Now her name was Marlene. Uh, and I'm going to start to type in her name here. And it comes up. I'm going to select her. She's already in my system. And uh, let's see, the date received. I'm going to click my calendar. I'll put today. Change that to 18. And uh, let's see, the acquisition method. In this case, it was a gift. I'll select gift. Now, down here in the bottom right-hand corner, you notice a couple of symbols. I'm going to use the camera icon to attach that photo I'd taken of the, all the items in the accession together, the full donation. So I'm going to select that and attach it. It can be really helpful down the road if you need to document exactly what came in with what and when. Now I'm going to click the paperclip icon and attach a PDF of the deed of gift form. I have scanned that a little earlier. So the deed of gift form is the document the donor signed giving the items to the museum. If at all possible, you should obtain records such as this that demonstrate the museum's legal ownership of the items. I've actually included a sample deed of gift form on the support page of our website under additional resources. So ideally, I'd continue to fill out the rest of the accession record as, as much as possible. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to stop here. I'm going to click Create. And now I'm back at my list of accessions. And you see here at the top is my new one, 2018.4, along with my brief description. So now I'm going to go back into my All Entries and start cataloging the first item. I'm going to click my New Entry button here in the corner. Select the photo I've taken of the first item. Now, of course, if I was on my uh, smartphone or tablet, I could take the picture directly from there. I'm going to give it a quick name here. Black and red jar. Next. 
Now, how do I want to catalog this? I'm going to select the most appropriate Native American pottery. Select done, and this brings me into my create entry screen. Now, I'm just going to go right down here to acquisition for this demonstration. So, I, under acquisition, I have a couple of choices here. Uh, it's either an accession or a loan. In this case, it's not a loan. So, I'm going to click accession, and this brings up my list along with the first one, the, the record I just created. So, this is a part of that record. I will select it. I notice that catalog it is automatically assigned 2018.4.1. This is the first item I've cataloged from this group. So if I hadn't created my accession record in advance, I could do that right here by clicking the Add button or this plus button right here. I'm just going to click Save for now and add another item from that accession. Click the plus. Select my photo. Give it a quick name here. Select Next, choose my classification, and again I'm going to come straight to acquisition in this case. Select Accession again, again attach it to this. Now notice here this one's assigned it automatically, 2018.4.2. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just click Save for now, and let's take a look at that entry. Here it is. So you can see some of the acquisition information from the accession record shows up on your view entry page. We've got the accession record itself, the source, and, uh, and how it came into the museum. Now I can click on this little flag here and see the information that I attached to the accession record. I can also see that it's, used, it's already used, this accession record used two times so far. I can click on that, see those items, and go back to the record. I can also click on this link here and that actually opens the accession record itself and from here I can edit it if I wanted to or again I can navigate back to uh, my entry and back to all entries. And now I can continue cataloging the remainder of my items from the accession. That folks is the accession process and catalog it.